¿Tienes mal oído en inglés? ¿Entiendes cuando lees pero no cuando la gente habla? No te entendí ni ve, no sé inglés. En este video vamos a resolver este problema con uno de mis métodos favoritos. Ah, caray. Eso sí me interesa. Te voy a leer ocho párrafos cortos en inglés y te los voy a leer cada uno tres veces. Primero vas a tener subtítulos en español, luego vas a tener subtítulos en inglés y la última vez no vas a tener nada de subtítulos. Este es un gran método para ayudarte a independizarte de los subtítulos y entrenar tu oído. Para que puedas entender a los nativos cuando hablan rápido, con muchas contracciones, con un acento fuerte, incluso si has tenido muchos problemas con tu escucha anteriormente. Pero antes de arrancar, es importante tocar un tema. ¿Quién es realmente mal oído? Esa es una excelente pregunta. ¿O simplemente no has entrenado tu oído suficientemente? En la ciencia de aprendizaje de idiomas se estipula que aprender idiomas no es un tema intelectual. No depende de tu talento, tu inteligencia, tu edad, otros factores para que tú puedas desarrollar un oído. Si fuera así, habría millones de personas alrededor del mundo que ni sabría su propio idioma. Pero lo que sí tiene el inglés es que es un idioma poco fonético. Cada letra no se pronuncia igual todo el tiempo. Las letras se pueden pronunciar de diferentes maneras dependiendo dónde están en una palabra. Though I taught thoroughly through the tough, throughout the situation, through my thoughts, I thought it was still tough. En comparación con el español, por ejemplo, que es un idioma mucho más fonético. Entonces es más fácil desarrollar el oído en español que lo es en inglés. Pero el español tiene la gramática horriblemente difícil, entonces eso es lo difícil con el español. Lo difícil con el inglés es justamente desarrollar el oído. Pero lo único que tenemos que hacer es entrenar tu habilidad de independizarte de los subtítulos. Y esto es justamente lo que vamos a hacer en este video. Esta información vale millones. Siéntate libre de rebobinar y ver varias partes varias veces si quieres está totalmente bien. Lo importante es que sigas el método y que seas muy enfocado cuando estás escuchando ahora. Pero esto va a ser un poco difícil, así que no te preocupes si hay muchas cosas que no entiendes. Es totalmente natural. También puedes cambiar la velocidad del video si quieres. Si sientes que va un poco rápido, puedes bajar la velocidad. Si sientes que va un poco lento, la puedes subir. Eso haces dando clic en el botoncito aquí abajo que dice velocidad. Bueno, espero que estés emocionado para arrancar. Avísame por favor en los comentarios qué ¿Qué piensas de este ejercicio? ¿Qué comentarios tienes? ¿Qué feedback tienes? Y no olvides ayudarme con un like y suscríbete al canal si todavía no lo hayas hecho. No sé si lo sabes, pero ese like, ese simple clic tuyo, ayuda a que el video alcance a muchos más latinos alrededor del mundo que necesita aprender inglés. Así que por favor, ayúdame en mi visión de un Latinoamérica donde no hay una sola persona que no hable inglés. Muchas gracias. Yo soy Kale Anders, tu coach de inglés y tu sueco favorito. Empecemos. English is the most widely spoken language in the world, with over 1.5 billion people speaking it as their first or second language. This means that by learning English, you can communicate with a huge number of people from all over the world. English is the most widely spoken language in the world, with over 1.5 billion people speaking it as their first or second language. This means that by learning English, you can communicate with a huge number of people from all over the world. English is the most widely spoken language in the world, with over 1.5 billion people speaking it as their first or second language. This means that by learning English, you can communicate with a huge number of people from all over the world. English is the most widely spoken language in the world, with over 1.5 billion people speaking it as their first or second language. This means that by learning English, you can communicate with a huge number of people from all over the world. English is the most widely spoken language in the world, with over 1.5 billion people speaking it as their first or second language. This means that by learning English, you can communicate with a huge number of people from all over the world. English is the most widely spoken language in the world, with over 1.5 billion people speaking it as their first or second language. This means that by learning English, you can communicate with a huge number of people from all over the world. 
English is the language of international business, science, and technology. Knowing English can greatly increase your job opportunities and earning potential, especially in industries such as finance, technology, and medicine. English is the language of international business, science, and technology. Knowing English can greatly increase your job opportunities and earning potential, especially in industries such as finance, technology, and medicine. English is the language of international business, science, and technology. Knowing English can greatly increase your job opportunities and earning potential, especially in industries such as finance, technology, and medicine. English is the language of international business, science, and technology. Knowing English can greatly increase your job opportunities and earning potential, especially in industries such as finance, technology, and medicine. English is the language of international business, science, and technology. Knowing English can greatly increase your job opportunities and earning potential, especially in industries such as finance, technology, and medicine. English is the language of international business, science, and technology. Knowing English can greatly increase your job opportunities and earning potential, especially in industries such as finance, technology, and medicine. English is the language of the internet. The vast majority of online content, including websites, videos, and social media, is in English, making it a crucial tool for staying connected and informed in today's digital world. English is the language of the internet. The vast majority of online content, including websites, videos, and social media, is in English, making it a crucial tool for staying connected and informed in today's digital world. English is the language of the internet. The vast majority of online content, including websites, videos, and social media, is in English, making it a crucial tool for staying connected and informed in today's digital world. English is the language of the internet. The vast majority of online content, including websites, videos, and social media, is in English, making it a crucial tool for staying connected and informed in today's digital world. English is the language of the internet. The vast majority of online content, including websites, videos, and social media, is in English, making it a crucial tool for staying connected and informed in today's digital world. English is the language of the internet. The vast majority of online content, including websites, videos, and social media, is in English, making it a crucial tool for staying connected and informed in today's digital world. English is a key factor in social integration. In many countries, proficiency in English is associated with a higher social status and improved opportunities for social potency. English is a key factor in social integration. In many countries, proficiency in English is associated with a higher social status and improved opportunities for social potency. English is a key factor in social integration. In many countries, proficiency in English is associated with a higher social status and improved opportunities for social potency. English is a key factor in social integration. In many countries, proficiency in English is associated with a higher social status and improved opportunities for social potency. English is a key factor in social integration. In many countries, proficiency in English is associated with a higher social status and improved opportunities for social potency. English is a key factor in social integration. In many countries, 
proficiency in English is associated with a higher social status and improved opportunities for social potency. English is a valuable skill in the job market. Many multinational corporations require their employees to be proficient in English, and knowing English can make you a more competitive candidate for job opportunities both at home and abroad. English is a valuable skill in the job market. Many multinational corporations require their employees to be proficient in English, and knowing English can make you a more competitive candidate for job opportunities both at home and abroad. English is a valuable skill in the job market. Many multinational corporations require their employees to be proficient in English, and knowing English can make you a more competitive candidate for job opportunities both at home and abroad. English is a valuable skill in the job market. Many multinational corporations require their employees to be proficient in English, and knowing English can make you a more competitive candidate for job opportunities both at home and abroad. English is a valuable skill in the job market. Many multinational corporations require their employees to be proficient in English, and knowing English can make you a more competitive candidate for job opportunities both at home and abroad. English is a valuable skill in the job market. Many multinational corporations require their employees to be proficient in English, and knowing English can make you a more competitive candidate for job opportunities both at home and abroad. English is the language of travel. English is widely spoken in many countries, and as a result, it is often the common language between travelers from different countries. Knowing English can make your travel smoother and more enjoyable. English is the language of travel. English is widely spoken in many countries, and as a result, it is often the common language between travelers from different countries. Knowing English can make your travel smoother and more enjoyable. English is the language of travel. English is widely spoken in many countries, and as a result, it is often the common language between travelers from different countries. Knowing English can make your travel smoother and more enjoyable. English is the language of travel. English is widely spoken in many countries, and as a result, it is often the common language between travelers from different countries. Knowing English can make your travel smoother and more enjoyable. English is the language of travel. English is widely spoken in many countries, and as a result, it is often the common language between travelers from different countries. Knowing English can make your travel smoother and more enjoyable. English is the language of travel. English is widely spoken in many countries, and as a result, it is often the common language between travelers from different countries. Knowing English can make your travel smoother and more enjoyable. English is the language of education. Many of the world's top universities and research institutions use English as their language of instruction and communication, making it essential for those pursuing higher education. English is the language of education. Many of the world's top universities and research institutions use English as their language of instruction and communication, making it essential for those pursuing higher education. English is the language of education. Many of the world's top universities and research institutions use English as their language of instruction and communication, making it essential for those pursuing higher education. English is the language of education. Many of the world's top universities and research institutions use English as their language of instruction and communication, making it essential for those pursuing higher education. English is the language of education. 
Many of the world's top universities and research institutions use English as their language of instruction and communication, making it essential for those pursuing higher education. English is the language of education. Many of the world's top universities and research institutions use English as their language of instruction and communication, making it essential for those pursuing higher education. English is the language of popular culture. Many of the world's most popular songs, movies, and TV shows are produced in English, making it an important tool for enjoying and understanding the culture of the people. English is the language of popular culture. Many of the world's most popular songs, movies, and TV shows are produced in English, making it an important tool for enjoying and understanding the culture of the people. English is the language of popular culture. Many of the world's most popular songs, movies, and TV shows are produced in English, making it an important tool for enjoying and understanding the culture of the people. English is the language of popular culture. Many of the world's most popular songs, movies, and TV shows are produced in English making it an important tool for enjoying and understanding the culture of the people. English is the language of popular culture. Many of the world's most popular songs, movies, and TV shows are produced in English, making it an important tool for enjoying and understanding the culture of the people. English is the language of popular culture. Many of the world's most popular songs, movies, and TV shows are produced in English, making it an important tool for enjoying and understanding the culture of the people. Felicidades! Ya has hecho todo el ejercicio. Siéntate libre de rebobinar y volver a practicar muchas veces siguiendo el método como tal. Cuéntenme en los comentarios cómo te fue. No te preocupes si está un poquito difícil. Yo entiendo. Es muy frustrante porque el inglés no es un idioma muy fonético. La diferencia entre el inglés hablado y el inglés escrito es bastante grande. Pero si tú simplemente sigues practicando con este método, vas a ver que tu oído mejora poco a poco. Y no sé si lo sabes, pero este método se basa en el principio de enseñanza que yo uso en mi curso de inglés. Enseño inglés en mi curso de la misma forma, con historias, con repeticiones, quitando subtítulos cada vez. Así aprendes inglés de una forma mucho más natural, mucho más automático y agradable, en lugar de estar en una sala y estudiar un montón de reglas gramaticales. Si quieres más información del curso, te voy a dejar el enlace para la página de compra en la descripción del video aquí abajo. Recuerda que tenemos una garantía de satisfacción de dos semanas. Eso quiere decir que puedes probar todo el curso por dos semanas todo lo que viene con él y luego tomar la decisión. Si no te gusta, nos mandas un mensaje y te damos el 100% de tu dinero de vuelta. ¡Qué ofertón! Y eso lo hacemos para que puedas probar el curso primero y tomar una decisión informada. Y también tenemos una garantía de fluidez. No sé si lo sabías, pero al final del curso, sea cuando sea que lo termines, cuando lo terminas, garantizamos que seas fluido. Y si no lo eres, te devolvemos el doble de lo que pagaste y te damos clases privadas conmigo ilimitadas hasta que seas fluido. Me tientas, me tientas. Hagámoslo. Si estudias una o dos horas al día, lo terminas por ahí en seis o ocho meses de pronto. Si estudias un poquito más, obviamente lo terminas en menos tiempo. Pero la idea del curso es que puedas pasar por él a tu propio ritmo, según tu horario, y no tener que cambiar tu estilo de vida para poder aprender inglés. ¡Dame mi dinero! Así que haz clic en el enlace que está en la descripción, revisa el curso. Y si tienes algunas preguntas, algunas dudas, ahí mismo hay un botón para contactarte conmigo y mi equipo. Cuídate mucho, muchísimas gracias y nos vemos en los siguientes videos. Chao.